Hello, grade 10. Good morning. Today is October 12, 2020. And our lesson for today will be about authentic human freedom during what is morally good. But before I will give you the meaning of this lesson, I have here three words, three jumbled words, in which you have to identify what is that word or form that word. Okay, and I have the meaning beside those jumbled letters of the word. I have its meaning so you can finally or easily uh, look for what is that word. So the first word is this one. It is a soft drink brand. Okay. The second word is that one. A periodical publication which is printed in gloss coated matte paper. And the third jumbled word is that one, a notice in public medium promoting a product or service. So those are the three jumbled words that I want you to form. You can sir, um, reserve your answers for our class discussion later. Okay? So write it na lang. Now class, what are the words that you have formed? So these are the questions that I want you to answer later. Okay, I have here an advertisement of Coke and I want you to look at it. Okay, observe the tagline. Now my question number one. What is the tagline of the advertisement? Okay, that's right. Question number two. What is the advertisement? Or study the advertisement as a whole. Uh, what do you think is the message of the tagline on the advertisement if we connect it to human freedom? Okay, very good. Number three. How do you feel about this advertisement? Do you think it has a correct view or understanding of the people in the world? Or do you believe in this passage? So you should explain. So just write your answers. And then later you can give your answers on our class. Now class, I am going to tell you something about the world of advertisement. Okay. Selling a product is selling a worldview. The worldview is the fundamental cognitive orientation of an individual or society, encompassing the whole of the individual's or society's knowledge and point of view. So we, when we sell a product, it is just like selling what will others also um, understand about your product, okay? Your um, individual orientation, meaning what you have know about that product, they will change that from the world's perspe perspective, okay? A person's worldview is highly influential to their views of others. This nature of human persons affect choices and decision. Most of the advertisements tells us that we are the master of our lives. So in order to convince a person to buy a specific product, of course the seller must change first the way the pers perspective buyer view his or her product, okay? So usbon jud nila ang nimo about that product para makonvince ka to buy that, right? And most of them tells us that we are the masters of our lives, meaning kita makabuta from the freedom that we have, makabuotag uh, unsa ang atong, we can decide whatever we want. Okay, we can make the decisions and choose that product that they are selling. Okay, now for that, just a few decades ago, um, people did not use cell phones, right? And um, certainly there were landline phones for our homes, but because of successful advertising. 
people now believe that carrying a mobile phone has a more essential or has become a basic need of the people. Diba? Okay, from the first part nga, landline lang siya, it is used at home. But then, evolve siya because of the advertisements, the perspective of people change. And uh, right now, in this generation, cell phone is very much needed. Diba? It is already a need, not a want. And um, the taglines of advertisements um, rev revolve on coined words such as connectivity and personalization. So, when you buy the cell phone, you will have connectivity to others and you can also personalize the things that you want. So, that is the strategy of um, the sellers, okay? Kaning manindahay. That is their strategy for you to be able to buy those products. However, from the perspective of the universal moral values, the messages from these advertisements are mere half-truths. When they tell us that we are the masters of our lives, who have the power to think and to choose, we should not forget that the true master of our lives is God. Well, advertisements tell us a lie. Okay? They are not totally true. They are just um, uh, trying to convince us to buy their items. And using those taglines, okay, that we are the masters, that they can give uh, just like the Coke. Sa kitang sa Coke, nga tagline. Okay? Things go better with Coke. So that is not true because things go better not with Coke. Things go better when you make good decisions, when you make um, better life Okay, so dili tungod sa coke. That is a lie. The truth there is that when you yourself make good decisions, okay, when you um, put God into your side, diba? So God is still the one that is making those happiness in your life. Okay, kung katong mga nindot nga situations in your life, those are still made by God. Remember, He is the source of our freedom. We enjoy the goodness that we seek. His gift of freedom is a form of help for us to know and choose the good. So that is what I'm telling you. He has given us the freedom. Yes, we have the freedom, but we should choose the good. Therefore, the true exercise of freedom is always about doing what is morally good. Okay. So now, class, I have your pictures. Okay. These pictures are showing the different kinds of notions of freedom that we have discussed. Okay. So the first one, you are free. Freedom meaning you are free. You can do whatever you want without people limiting you. Right? So just like here, unchained na siya. Uh, it could also be the context in which a person is in prison, but then um, in this time na kay okay na siya, nakagawas na siya. Okay? That's an example of freedom. Here, the picture here, a girl. So, this is um, a choice itself. So, she is molding herself as a leader, okay, as what she is trying to be. Okay? Kung unsang yung plan sa yung self, that is what the freedom that she chooses. Here, the other one, giving goods. So, that is also a freedom. Okay? The, the freedom to choose. It is your choice to choose uh, whether you will help or not. Okay? Nobody will tell you, oh, help, help them. Okay? So, that is your instinct. That is your freedom. And the other one here is, I have noticed all of you, some of you. Um, have made a poster like this. So, freedom of speech. So, nobody can um, well, magbuot. Okay? Kung unsang atong ganahan is ulti. Just trying to express ourselves, our emotions. So, above all these pictures class, or these 
notions of freedom that we have think the best thing that we should always remember is when we have freedom we should know that doing what is morally good we should do what is morally good okay so dapat nindot sud ang atong buhaton sa atong freedom we should not abuse what is the freedom that we have we should not use it on evil acts okay now class in doing what is morally good there are three things that we must keep in mind to achieve the authentic human freedom so when we do morally good we will have that authentic human freedom but then when we do it there are three things these three things are the one that we experience so upon doing the things that are morally good um, there is an irony of moral good and evil we should also remember the purpose of human freedom and the importance of laws and conscience so these are the three things that we must keep in mind when we do um morally good acts okay to have that authentic human freedom so now let's have first the irony of moral good and evil as we mature as loving human persons we realize that doing what is good is not as easy as doing what is evil Every day, we face different circumstances that require us from choosing between the good and the evil. Uh, often, we have been or we have drawn into persistently choosing things that may lead us to evil. Okay, for example, for that, an example for that is this picture. You can see there a girl uh, facing her laptop and a boy playing games in a in the television i think and the girl is looking at the boy playing so it seems like the girl wants to be in the situation where the boy plays so that is the uh decision there if for let's say that the girl is studying in her laptop so there is the thing that where would she be better or which should be the one that she should she should um choose it's either uh facing the laptop and studying or go into the place where the boy is and play what is the game that the boy is um that the boy is playing so kani siya gipatso na ang babae nagduduan nag saman magtuon ko or dili diba so he is she is already um into the situation of deciding of being into morally good decision or doing an evil act um now class uh, anything that enslaves causes suffering and destroy the human person is called evil so anything that maka destroy nato is called evil an example for that laziness temptations and doubt so temptation that is the example here and it's a picture laziness well we also experience that that right especially if we have a lot of things to do yes we think that we have a lot of things to do but wala pa tayo nahimo di ba have you noticed that so that is a kind of evil doubt also when you doubt yourself even though you know that you have your own capacity you have a good capacity of doing such things okay, so those are examples of moral evils the limitation of the world, which in itself is not evil, can result in evil for human persons and communities. So this is referred to as cosmic evil. Now, cosmic evil class may also be called as natural evil. Uh, those these evils are not um, meant by humans. So wala gibuhat ang humans ani, but they affect humans. Okay, they, this cosmic evils or natural evils happen um, naturally. Okay, an example for that is this one. You can see here, it is flood. So, floods or storms or typhoons are examples, is one of an example of natural world. So, it is an evil because, because when there is flood, it affects human persons, diba? So, mamahawa sila sa ilang balay, 
Okay, they need to evacuate. So that is an example of also an uh, an evil for for humans. Another is sickness. So when you have uh, when you have problems in your health, of course it will affect you a lot. Okay, there may be distractions emotionally. Another example for that is this one. So this photo is from the uh, one that happened in Tacloban, okay? Where there were a lot of people that was found dead, that were found dead, okay? So that's it, class. Okay, the first evil was moral evil, and this one is cosmic evil or natural evil. Um... Now, um, we have learned that life is a struggle against moral evil in which we experience within ourselves and in the society. And moral evil is perpetuated by, by our free um, evil acts. So this is an example in which, as you can see in the picture, a person that is under a big hand so let's say that this picture means that you are oppressing a person okay or you are bullying a person so that is an example of a moral evil you are not doing the good thing that is meant for you to do okay, when we choose our free evil acts we contribute to the sins of the world and to our inner state of dysfunction motivation therefore moral evil ultimately result in human destruction so the result of those moral evils that we do will be our self-destruction result so we are the one that we will be affected by the things that we do and um, based on experience we know that from the outset our evil acts do not seem to bring any real harm or destruction to ourselves or to other human persons so for us if we do our free or our um what they call this moral evils moral evil acts um we may think that we are not the one affected or are that the one that we have done that moral evil act is not affected so like imagine that, oh, okay, na niya. but that is not true okay there will always be um reactions to what are the things that we have done now class when we choose to do good acts we often experience difficulty so have you noticed that that when we uh when when we choose to do something good we we will go through trials problems whereas in in doing moral evil acts by our free evil acts uh we just it uh Isi go lucky lang ta, okay? Dali ra, dali ra kayo ang mga butang, okay? For example, in uh, doing good, good acts. This one, nag-line sila, di ba? You're waiting patiently for something. Dili ka mo overtake. Di ba? So, the difficulty there is that a big time for you nga, magbaro ka din ha, magpabot ka nga, it will be your turn. Whereas if, uh, we say moral evil act ani nga situation, we say nga mo shortcut ka, dali ra kayo, dili ka mausik ang oras ni mo nga magsigbaro din ha paabot, diba? You're, you will not wait for a longer time for you to be able to go in front, okay, kung unsa yung mong gilinyahan din ha. So, that's the irony. So, mani irony sa moral good and evil. If you will be doing moral good, moral good acts, um, you will face through struggles. You have to wait patiently. Okay, there are things or consequences in doing good acts. Whereas in moral evil acts, well, life would be easy. Okay? Dili ka mag problema. Okay, dali ra ng mga butanga. So, that's, that's the irony class. Okay, now class, I have here a picture. As you can see, a man... That is copying on a girl. So this is an example situation. Take this case of Shine Romero's classmate who chooses to cheat by copying someone else's work. Or someone else's homework. 
he gets checked for submission. So here class, as you can see, he experiences immediate reward of having an easy time submitting the homework. Because nakakopy naman siya sa iyahang classmate, which is this girl. And uh, he gets a check for that submission. And if he makes this a habit, um, in his life and in school, becomes easy. So on the other hand, this is Shine studying and chooses to do her homework at home and refuses to share her assignment with her classmate that wants to copy. She experiences complaints of some of her classmates. So if atang indifferenting duha, this is the moral, moral evil and this one is the moral good act. Okay, so in moral evil act, as you can see, uh, the classmate here, this one, he gets checked. So dali na kayo nga, nakakuha niya ang answer. So check siya, no no hard kuan walay kuan ka ng sitaw gani. Wala siya yung mga struggles nga naagian ba, dili wala siya maglisod kay dito dito so man copy, di ba? Whereas kani si Shine nga naning kamot, okay, naning kamot nga mag-answer sa ilang balay and refuses, she gets complaints from some of her classmates. So yung mga kasi na ah, our team ni si Shine kay dili magpakopya. Okay? Have you experienced that? Now, if dili mo magpakopya sa inyong kasmit, lagang kayo reklamo ha, ay mo kuha na na niya, kayo hindi mo na siya pasundo. Diba? We all experience that, I think. So, because there are classmates nga, um, in Anna Manjud, mapay mangupya, mapay sakit mo story ha. But those actions are moral evil acts. So, dili na to judge sila ang ay pakopyahon. Because we are, ato silang gikonsinti gani, nga, uh, oh, nga okay ra mong upya, but that is not good. Okay, whereas kanang, yes, they do evil acts nga, oh, easy lang ilang life, di na sila maglisod, kay check da yun, whereas kita nga na ning kamot. But on the other hand, um, no one seems to be enslaved or suffering, destroyed in cheating, except for Shine. So, si Shine na nag suffer because, bisag, um, she's the one that doing is, uh, that doing the right thing, that is doing the right thing, She's the one suffering because of the kanang story stories sa mga classmate, di ba? So, ato dyan ang hunahunaon. So, this is now the irony class nga. If you do something good, ano, bati nga feedback in this. Nanindot unta kasi you are doing the right thing. Yeah, if are ka sa bati or sa, I mean, evil act na dali pang kinabuhi nila, wala pa sila maglisod, kita pa eh, kita pag lahira lahira jud sa to abang nga ang moral evil kay kuan wala sila maglisod unfair it seems to be unfair so that's the irony class but in doing the good she experiences suffering and evil why should she continue in using her freedom in doing the good so that's the question nganong mo continue pa man si shine nga magbuhat ani nga isaway na man siya mga classmate kadi siya magpakopya di ba um, do you think her sacrifices is still good? Or do you think that doing her moral act is still good? So that's the question class. So kaninga case, that's the question for you. Is doing the morally good act of not giving the assignment to your classmate okay? Whereas you're giving the assignment to your classmate nga walay complaints. Okay? Now, let's have the purpose of human freedom. Getting back to the case of cheating, we can argue that Shine's classmate has not yet faced his consequences. So, wala pa dyan niya may experience kung sa itong mga um, later on mga consequences nga iyang ipambuhat. Especially if that cheating that he was doing kay iyang habit. So, the possible consequences is that when he is caught cheating, his act becomes known to school authorities and to his parents. The student will experience the wrongness of his act, and his school records will be tarnished. He would feel embarrassed before his parents and the school authorities. He would become popular for the wrong reason and the loss of trust of the people around him or her. So what happens to him if he is not caught like most of those who have done crimes and act of injustice. 
Okay, those were those are the consequences class. So matar ni siya ni hang school records. Musikat siya because cheater siya. And if he will not get caught, muro rasad siya parya ng mga uh, persons doing crimes. He is also wanted. Wanted in a term nga wala siya gipangita sa police pero na siya gibuhat nga sa yop. Okay? Wanted siya sa rule ni God. Okay? That is a moral evil act man. Let us not forget that our past lesson which you have learned the concept of fundamental option. Remember the fundamental option and what you do is what you are. So human persons are formed by their free acts. A person becomes thief because he or she steals without remorse with without remorse with the consequences of his or her actions a thief is unwilling to and promptly to promptly return what your he or she has taken from another classmate so kung ikaw mangwa kag butang thief nakaana nya di kay kaganahan ibal ang usa ka thief di jud ganahan ibalik ang usa ka butang nga iyahang nakuha so in the same manner sa cheating a person who cheats becomes a cheater or a corrupt person so corrupt person then a cheater with remorse a cheater would be unwilling to admit his or her dishonesty someone who has been caught and penalized for dishonesty may actually be a freer person compared to another who has not admitted his or her fault so in the case of cheater, di man yun na sila mo ang kun, di ni sila ingon nga totally free. Oh, okay, whereas sa mga tao nga ay ginahuna pa. Kay, um, para nila, they are free nga okay ra mag-cheat. Mag Pero, di li di ay to. They are not free because uh, deep inside, sayup to ang ilang ibuhat. Because it is an example of a moral evil act. Okay, authentic human freedom is doing what is good. This makes us better and freer human persons. Meanwhile, our evil acts corrupt us and destroy us from within. So remember that human that authentic freedom is always doing what is good. And this will make our life easier and happy and mosaniganahan ni God nga mahitabo. Okay, meanwhile, kaning mga um, moral evil acts, this will just destroy us. This will give problems to us. Okay? So, always remember that. Uh, um, in the end, if there are things nga we do in the moral in the moral evil acts, na yung consequences nga ato ang ma koan, makuha. Okay? Pero sa, if we do the good moral acts, there may be struggles, but ang consequences, ano niya, ikahuman kay, mas nindot pa, or it will make us become better human persons. Okay, so the last one, the importance of laws and conscience. Human freedom was not given to us by God for nothing. It does not simply, uh, it does not imply doing whatever we want. It has to be guided by universal moral values which are upheld by our laws and conscience. So, after you, uh, after learning the authentic human freedom, which is doing the good, we realize that human freedom involves our choices and decisions. Okay? Sometimes we fail to appreciate the order of harmony and peace that we experience in our everyday life. Our basic human rights should not be subjected to any form of control and manipulation by the government. It should be encouraged and supported. So these laws and conscience, dili ni dapat na tong gamiton as abusive or abusive part nga. There are laws. Okay? Ang atong freedom is for us to become good persons. And with these laws and also the our conscience, um, we should, um, they would be harmonizing our life, okay? Walay mga mulabaw ani sa law, in sa conscience na to, ato ad yung i-keep in mind nga dapat nindo siya dang atong buwatan, atong i-regard ang kuan sa other persons, na feel sa other persons. Okay, so, we also realize that these institutions, kanil sa government, of authority are important in keeping the 
rule of law, promoting the common good, safeguarding the order, bringing peace in our land and meeting out decisions of fairness and equality among people. So, katong nasa government, usually they should do things that are uh, morally good in which makaharmonize na itong mga tao and they, uh, moto ilhang mga rule, mga roles, they are mga roles, promoting the good, safeguarding the order, bringing peace sa land. Okay? Even in our families, we seek to live a well-balanced life. No one is led to feel controlled or manipulated. So, when we are in a happy family, there are also happy family members. We are free and responsible in making our decisions at home in our ways in life. So, kita gya po nagbuhat kung unsa may mga mga kwan sa itong balay. Kung malipayon ta, malipayon sa datong pamilya. Kung dili gani ha, mag ta. Diba? So, uh, but we always, uh, again, we should always keep in mind the moral goods. Okay, moral acts. Uh, nindot, moral good acts. And we also want our home to, uh, our home life to be orderly and harmonious. So, it is expected that we are abide by our simple ag agreements and follow our unique set of house rules or family values. Human freedom is relational. It cannot be separated from our relationships with other people in our families, community, society, and the world. It is meant to be exercised not only for one's benefit, but also for the common good. So, always remember that um, di dyan siya mabuwag sa tanang relationship, whether sa family, sa community, or through God. So, freedom is always na ajud ananiya. Okay? In every decision that you make, there is a, de a freedom for you to uh, decide. Okay? And uh, our human freedom, our capacity to think and choose for ourselves is not a selfish tool. It is meant for the search of the truth and exercising love and service for others. So, that is also, one thing to remember that freedom, kay dili ni siya para for us to abuse things, okay? Kay freedom daw lagi di na ta pwedeng stop sa tao so no one will limit you, no. Always remember that you should be responsible for the gift of freedom na gihatag ni God ni mo, ba? Responsibility is a number one thing that you should keep in mind, especially having the freedom okay in whatever situation we are in the exercise of human freedom should always be guided by the principles and law on voice of the conscience so um that is what i am saying that katong responsibility ni mo okay sa principal laws and also your conscience kung sa story si mo self mo uy dito ang ay buhaton kay kay bati na siya okay Keep in mind also the good moral values nga always ni mong buhaton para makakuha, para mabuhat ni mo ang authentic human freedom nga gi pangita ni Lord. Okay? Laws and conscience help us know what is good with respect to the universal moral values that we all regard as we make us all human. So, that's it. Ang moral values. Okay? Never forget that. So, teaching, I hope you have learned something. If ever you have questions, you may contact me on Messenger. Okay, you can just ask questions there. And also, class, I hope that you have understood the video that I am presenting because later on in our class, I will ask questions about this one. Okay, so goodbye and see you later.